Now let's look inside the security battery box. Inside this battery box, we have it divided into three sections or compartments. Over here, we have the foam storage case for the cameras. Two cameras may fit inside this particular case to store the cameras while in travel. Over here, we have the batteries, two AGM batteries for 400 amp hours of maintenance free battery. And over here, we have the electronics. Electronics consist of the main power switch for batteries and solar, a camera power switch, a solar charge controller slash LVD for turning the uh, system on and off. And underneath here is the battery charger for charging the batteries if you need to if the solar is not keeping up. Let's turn on the system now. We have a main power switch here for the batteries and the solar panels. We turn that on. We have batteries and solar panels now working. We have a camera switch off, on, so we're turning our cameras on. Now we're booting up our Morningstar solar charge controller. On the solar charge controller, we have three lines of information that we look at for determining the proper setup of the trailer. The sun symbol is telling us how much power the batteries are taking from the solar panels. The battery at 12 volts shows how much battery voltage we have on the batteries. And the load symbol is our cameras, and that's how much power the cameras are drawing. So on the sun, we have 2.5, batteries 12.88, and the load we have 1.8 and this is all the information you really need to position your trailer properly. In order to get the best sun numbers, tilt your solar panel till the number goes up to the maximum number that you can crank it to and then you'll, you're good to go. Here we have the mini dome camera just taken out of its travel case and this little camera has a pan tilt zoom uh, camera to it. It has a one terabyte recorder as part of it built in. It has a cellular modem built in. It has a Wi-Fi radio built in and it has GPS. Everything comes in this simple little camera. Now we're going to hang the mini dome camera up on the mast and there's a bar that goes across here that matches a slot on the bracket. So make sure you align the little bar and the slot in the bracket. And it drops in just that easy. We have a bolt or a pin that can go through there. Now you got your power wire and we make sure that the power has been turned off at the battery box before we hook it up. So power's off. And there we go. We have the mini dome camera installed on the mast. Now that we have the tower telescoped up in the air, we highly recommend you take a simple staple padlock like we got here and add it to the swivel base and the tower. To do that, rotate the tower slightly to get the padlock in. Put the tower back. You'll take your travel pin, put it through the hole, and the staple of the padlock, just like that. Lock her up. And now you've secured the pin and the tower in the swivel base so you can't rotate the tower. And if you try to lower the tower, the tower comes down on top of the travel pin, preventing anybody from tampering with your camera. A nice, simple way to add security to your trailer. As an option to the mini dome camera trailer, we have a pivoting drawbar to get the drawbar out of the way without having to remove it for uh, trip hazards or storage facilities or forklift operations. In order to pivot the drawbar, we're going to pull the pin here. We pivot up the drawbar, use the same pin. So this gets the drawbar out of the way as a trip hazard. It gets access to the forklift without removing the drawbar. 
and it makes uh, more space in the yard when you got a, a minimal amount of space uh, to store things. Now that we've deployed the mini dome camera, we're going to have to load that camera into your desktop computer. Inside the camera case, each camera has this piece of paper that is showing the IPs of the camera. You want to have this paper with you when you're setting up your system on your desktop. Now that we have our IP number ready and we're going to add the camera into our software, we're going to hit connect. After connect, the pop-up box shows up and we're going to hit add to add a new camera and we're going to add a new transmitter. That's what we need to do first is add new transmitter. Now the index is asking us for the transmitter name or which would be the trailer name. For this video we're just going to call it Wonko Video Unit. Okay, We're going to put our IP number in that is from the 4G IP address on the paper. Okay, we got the IP in there, and we got a username and password. This is optional. We usually send it at the factory blank, but for this video, we're just going to call it Wonko and Wonko and hit OK. Now we have our index with our new unit added to the file. Now, the next step is going to be to call this particular unit. So from your list, we're going to click on the unit we want to call. We're going to hit dial. And there we have the view of the, the camera. In order to turn the camera, it's very simple. You can follow the arrows of your mouse and you'll just click on the mouse and the camera is going to turn with that. So after you've positioned your camera by using the arrows to turn the camera left, right, up, down. You can use your roller ball on the mouse to roll her in to see the zoom and roll back out for wide view. To get more information on how to set up the analytics, how to set up presets, how to view your recordings over time. Go to the next series of the Mini Dome camera and we'll have information for you there.